I just want to know, like, because I never been in that situation, but people always talk about the pressure. You coming in at number one pick, and it's basically here. This is your yeah. organization. Mm -hmm. Take it and and lead us there. Take us there. Like, how, what's the pressure of that? The mental? Because it's listen. When we get on that basketball court, that's easy. Yeah. But off the basketball court. Like just um, understand that pressure as a young man, you know I what I'm saying, to trying to lead the organization. Especially before you answer that, especially when you don't have a whole lot of the control over it either. Yeah. yeah. I think like just – You got to have the pressure of being number one pick, and then you get to pick guys to come with you. Yeah, like, I think just – um, <laughs> What my mom instilled in me, you know what I mean? Just like uh, I always be known as a greater person off the court than a basketball player. Yeah. That's what my mom always did. Like people might love you for your game, but when you're done, if people going to want to be around you, people going to respect you. That's what I always try to instill in myself. But it was, he it was heavy, man, because you know yeah. what I mean? Like – DC yeah. is like nobody would know that's where my dad was from. So like Good. to be drafted, wow. that was amazing. And then this four hour drive from North Carolina, my family's always coming up. That's yeah. all it is, a four hour drive? Yeah. Wow. Three and a half if you don't do the speed limit, but yeah. you know. So you got there in three? <laughs> yeah. For sure. But Fact. uh it was it was amazing though, cause like I'm like, damn, like they really embraced a 18-year-old, 19-year-old kid with no face hair, no kids Man. to come <laughs> here and to put the city on his back to to where I got it to with the help. I think it was amazing because I went from we wasn't a playoff team, we wasn't winning. Mm -hmm to touching the community, that's what the most yeah. important thing with me was. Like, yeah. I know where they coming from, from Section 8 and Ward. I knew where they was coming from, what they didn't have. So I'm like, how can I bless them more than just blessing them on the basketball court? So I think that's why the people in DC love me and appreciate me as much as they do. Yes, the 110% I gave, like I was playing through every injury, doing everything I could to try to win a championship or just get the team to where I could get them to a high level. But I think touching the people in the community is what People are bracing, like you said. A lot of people don't understand it. They think just yeah, playing right. basketball and yeah. being between these four lines, that's it. But we got, we got to do outside this. Yeah. Like, we don't just wake up and go to practice. Yeah. We got media attentions. Yeah. We got photo Fam shoots family. and family. All this, so yeah, it's been amazing. It's been dope. Years old. You ain't even old enough to drink. No, yeah, and no. you handling and you carrying all Man, this on your I shoulder. Went, when I went anywhere, I was no lie, but I would leave. The practice arena and go to Hooters every day, like right there. <laughs> give me some crab yeah. legs and watch Sound football, like basketball games all day. Weeds over at Hooters. But that's like what I was doing because I live like three blocks away. I'm like, I don't know where else to go. He went, he went to Bun Buns. Oh, yeah. Well, he ain't got that in DC. No, <laughs> I went to um, Tissy's. <laughs> or, Can't or, go wrong. Or, or, yeah, or the Can't, office. Can't or go take wrong one. There. Or one of those. Yeah, I'm a day shift guy. <laughs> when did, when did, well, let's get a side pivot here. Yeah, I'm a day shift guy. <laughs> when did Bradley Bill come? What year? Uh, Go 20, Gators. 20, yes, sir. Gators. Uh, 2012, I think. 2012, so two I think. years. Yeah, two years, yeah. How yep. was that? Because that's when, I'm telling you, you guys, you guys to me were unbelievable out in the playoffs, and it was fun to watch you guys. Yeah. Talk about that with Bradley Beal and, and – and, uh, um, It was a blessing. You got to talk about the Gators. I'm just, yeah, no, for sure. He was yeah. a special talent, bro. Uh, he even played with my boy Kenny Boyton that was in my draft yeah, class. Yeah, Kenny yeah, Boyton. Yeah. Wow, I played against him. Kenny Boyton. Yeah. 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 No kidding. Um, South Florida kid. Mm -hmm. American Heritage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ray Taylor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I played against them and Brandon Knight at Team Breakdown. Oh, yeah. So Brandon I got a lot Knight. of Another South history. Florida. But – um. Just get him. I knew how special he was. I watched Brad a lot of AAU, you know what I mean? Like, one thing, I'm a basketball junkie. Like, I got a big TV and I split the, You know, you got direct TV, you go quiet switch, switcher. Split that bitch at four and you yeah. watching all games Ooh, at one time. Fire, yes, sir. Yes, that's sir. all I'm doing. So, if you catch me on a Sunday or right after this later, I'm doing that. But uh, just to get Brad was amazing because when he first came in, he was just a knockdown catch and shoot guy. Not really put the ball on the floor as much. And uh, he just kept developing, developing, getting better and better. And uh, he stays in the gym, one of the uh, big gym rat. And then... When I got injured, he took his game to another level. Mm -hmm. Learned how to play, make more, became really that superstar type of guy. And uh, it was great to play with a guy like that. I was hoping I got another opportunity to get another run at it, but uh, I ended up getting traded. But the way he was, the way he developed in his career, uh, the space he's at now, I just hope he can stay healthy because he's a yeah. great piece and can help Phoenix get to whatever they're trying to accomplish. But he's a, he's a special talent. So you, Bradley Bill, and you touched on something before we came on here that I think needs to be said because you were in the workout when Clay Thompson came in, mm -hmm. and you said something. Because could you imagine your speed with those two dudes? Oh, and you yeah. said that you're telling them to take Clay. Yeah, I <laughs> not think, calling anybody out. Yeah, yeah, we, I think we should have took Clay for sure. Took Clay, like you know, what I mean, a sharp shooter, knowing he could shoot the ball like. Did you say miss how many shots in that workout? <laughs> Probably one or two shots, man. He was <laughs> fired, bro. So like, I knew Clay was special, could shoot it, and we would have got him the year before that. That was 2011. Would have got to be a problem. So that would have been a problem. Yeah. But what? So, cause, like, cause then, because like Clay was a good, a great defender that yeah. time too. You know what I mean? So he was a great defender. So he probably would have played the three fours, yeah. Bradley the two. And then you have me, Nene, and Gortat. Like, you oh. know what I mean? It would have been amazing with the pick and roll we Gortat. had. Gortat. Yeah. I remember that one. Yeah, Gortat. Gortat had the Jordan oh. tattoo on his leg. Yeah, yeah yes, he did. <laughs> like, yes, he did. Look again. He made pick and roll easy for me, though, because 
a lot he learned from Steve Nash and yeah. Ben Phoenix. He brought to me and taught me that. So he helped my point guard game go to another level. Could you so, imagine those two shooters though? Oh man, I would have been. Spacing? That's passes. crazy. Now you Not can't build that wall. You can't, you can't build a wall. You, you get to the elbows help. if you want to. Yeah, it's going up. It's going up. Well, I'm happy they didn't. I'm happy they didn't. Who's they taking, Steph? Jan Vesely. Jan Vesely. Jan Vesely. They was uh, calling the baby Blake Griffin hold on, hold on, from hold on. overseas. Hold on, what is he? You expected me to know who? I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know who that was. I ain't trying to be disrespectful, but you looking at me? Why you looking at me? <laughs> no, they caught me. Like they was this comparing him. At me, like, like, they was comparing him to the, like the Blake Griffin from overseas, man. like athletic and run the floor. Yeah, he was yeah. a freak athlete, yeah. but hey, listen, man. I always un I, I, this is my question. I get it. There is talent overseas, but how you miss the <laughs> that's sitting right here? <laughs> I, I, that's the thing for me. I get it. There's talent overseas. Got, they play amazing. They play up. amazing technical basketball. How the f miss Clay Thompson right next door? That's just that. They be having their reasons. <laughs> now, I ain't say they was good, OG, but I just say they got their reasons. Yeah. That crazy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to get We're going to move on. No. Nah, no, man. Keep nah, going. man. I don't, keep be going. Getting, I don't be getting it. I don't, I don't know. Oh, my, 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 my.